Hey guys, my name is William. In today's video, I'm going to give you a black hat, if you will, for Facebook ads. That's right, Facebook ads. I'm going to show you how to build out that customer avatar, that Dream 100 list for ClickFunnels, and to dial in your customer audience, if you will. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe, turn on that bell notification. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss the golden nuggets we drop on this channel. My name is William Jones. I have 20 years of SEO and marketing experience. I've taken an agency from only four clients to hundreds. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss what we have on this channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So Spark Toro, Spark Toro, if you've ever been on Facebook ads, you know, custom audiences, you're in click funnels. You want to know, for example, if my people are talking about SEO or bikinis or whatever, what other channels are they following? What other influencer are they following? What other websites are they following? Why is that important? Because it's important because if you know that, then you know the type of content they're interested in. You know how to, if you will, do your social push. You know how to do your Google ads. You know how to do your Facebook ads. And now you can start siphoning traffic, if you will, and taking traffic from your competition and dial it in, in to your website, okay? And so that's what we're wanting to do today. So for example, let's just say, I don't know. Let's type in home additions. I just, you know, my audience is talking about home additions. Let's see what comes up. All right, and once we know what comes up, we can go, holy crap. All these people use these keywords, so maybe I should be using them if my website's about home additions. Maybe I should be using these keywords in my website and in my reviews. Maybe I should start using these hashtags on my social media posts. Maybe I should be using some of these phrases, right? Gives you even gender and job, most mentioned skills, etc. right? Shows you social accounts you follow. So the best bet, what you do with these social accounts is now I go into all these social accounts and I follow every one of them on Facebook and Instagram and I start creating content like theirs. Specifically, if I went to one of them and I went, okay, let me grab Facebook. Let me just grab this one, give you an example. This We're doing this on the fly just to show you. But this one in specific, National Association of Realtors. All right, we're looking specifically for ones that get a lot of if you will, comments or get a lot of traction, right? And we go, okay, that's the type of content I need to start creating. <laughs> yeah, boy. People are interested in this. So that's one of the reasons why it's extremely, extremely important. Then we can go back over here and we can go, okay, what websites are they looking at, right? Even gives you some hidden gems, if you will. Maybe some not so websites they're not really normally looking at, but some hidden gems, if you will. All right. And then I can go, okay, what websites they're looking at. Then let's say I'm a realtor and I want to start getting on podcasts and get my name out there. I can then click on podcasts and it will show me all the top podcasts. And I can filter this by most popular, right? And I can start trying to get on these podcasts and have a VA, right? And if you don't have my SOP for this one, you're going to want to get my SOP by commenting below in regards to how to get a VA to do outreach for you to get you on podcasts. Getting you on podcasts is also another hack to getting strong, very authoritative, niche relevant backlinks to your website. Oh my God! Wow! So you're definitely going to want to comment below and get that sign. So we take a VA, we have a script, VA sends out an email to these podcasts and tries to get you on them. And once you're on them, of course you're going to want to announce it on your social media, your website, and these people love it, so they want to backlink and hyperlink back to you. So 
this is just one of the tools. Then once I go take this information, I can build a custom audience, right? Inside of Facebook, with Facebook ads. So for Facebook ads, I can take this and go, all right, let me build out a Facebook ad campaign under cost custom audiences, and I could say they follow. Let's say it was SEO, Neil Patel, search engine, and <clears throat> Google ads, you know, search engine journal. I mean, everything under the sun that you could possibly think of when it comes to marketing, HubSpot, you know, all of them. You take all of that information, everybody that's talking about those specific keywords, those hashtags, you put them in there and you build out a custom audience and now you've dialed in your Facebook ads. Instead of going after everybody under the sun, you're going after a specific niche group and now your ads cost less and they're more effective. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or if you want my SOP on outreaching via podcast, via virtual assistant, make sure to comment below and I'll get that right over to you. Again, my name is William. You be blessed and have a great, great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil. Shout fuck the SEO guys.